Hello everyone. A happy new year to every one of us. I trust that we all had a peaceful and um, amazing entry into the new year. For me, I can just say Alhamdulillah for where I am today. Uh, towards the end of last year, I discovered something about myself that I used to go for these walks every time in the morning, <coughs> mornings, but I realized that there was more to the walks. It wasn't just about initially I started walking because, you know, I wanted to stay fit. I wanted to, you know, lose some weight and walking out is what I find easier to do, you know. So and then it became gradually it became like a, a like a hobby. And um, I didn't start walking until like towards the end of um, last year, although I used to walk previous years before I used to walk a lot. Like I think I started walking like in 2020 right after my baby or 2019 2020 there about so but then i discovered that lately whenever i go for walks i there's just something about the atmosphere there's something about um you know my mind i feel like uh you know i don't know how to explain it i feel so much freedom in my mind my thoughts are clearer my thoughts are clearer like when i'm in clearer like i can actually visualize some some ideas that come to my mind when i'm um, doing my walks and i kind of enjoy it and so i'm always looking forward to going for walks and um, there are some days that i feel like i don't want to go for a walk but then when i come home and i just realize that i don't feel okay like <laughs> i need to go out it's like I get to go out and speak to myself somehow or the wind or, um, you know, since I live on an island, you know, the sea view, I have sea views all around me. There's something so um, serene about going out, you know, listening to the sound of the breeze, looking at the water. It reminds me every single time about, you know, the the, the wonders of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's just something that I thought to, do, to, 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 to talk about today while I'm reflecting on this new year. And uh, talking about reflecting on the new year. So I was talking to my baby sister the other day and she was like, uh, Auntie Fatih, this is like the first time I'm actually seeing you actively participating in, in new year, you know, whatever. And I was like, then I started thinking about it and I still thought about it today while I was working. And I was like, seriously, I, and she was actually right. I think um, the last new year that I actively participated in, like when I mean actively, I've never been like much of, you know, celebrating, throwing parties and stuff like that. No, but I... You know, I had something, I had an event, uh, or maybe I, you know, I went out. I did something that, you know, um, something fun into the new year. Let me just say that way. So I think the last new year that I actively participated in um, before this year was the year my son was born. Yes, the year my son was born and he was about maybe 11 months i no no not 11 months sorry maybe nine eight nine months there about and i still have a video of him you know he was clapping he was singing he, you know he wasn't singing so he was clapping he was dancing we were invited to a party um uh, my husband's boss invited us to this new year party and i think that is the last uh, memory i have of you know having a kind of fun entry into the new year until this year um, I had, um, we, we moved to a new neighborhood, uh, I think it was 2021. And then, so my new neighbors invited us to dinner, uh, on New Year's Eve. And we went, we had this beautiful dinner. It was so lovely. Um, the husband was the one that cooked everything. Like I tasted something out of this world. Like I've never tasted, you know, I'm a foodie. And it was so good. My my entire family was there, my husband, my kids. It was nice to have, you know, people around, you know, we talked, we laughed, and a couple of other friends. And right after then, we went to see the fireworks. And it was really beautiful because we, it, it, that was the first time I will be like, you know, having, um, you know, firsthand uh, sight of fireworks, not from seeing it from a far, a far view or from somewhere. Um, there was a, t a year I traveled and I was supposed to, we were supposed to go see, uh, I think it was 4th of July fireworks in Chicago or something, but it rained and we couldn't go. So let me just say, long story short, 
this was like the first time and i went with my nine year old and she was also excited we had fun and we came back home and i started thinking about it like it's kind of like the uh all the previous new years before 2021 or yes before 2021 or 20, 2021 to 2022 it's like i uh, completely blacked out from my memory i can't remember anything i can't remember any activity i can't remember any um how i felt you know um going into those new year i was really it was those times that i was so engrossed um with the things you know that i was doing with my son i was so carried away with so many things i was dealing with a lot and i wasn't really there this is the point i'm trying to get to i wasn't really there mentally like i was just doing stuff and i i i wasn't really um myself i wasn't really paying attention to anything i was just living but now looking back at all those years that you know how i feel like i those years have blacked out i wouldn't want any part of uh, of my you know i wouldn't want to have such blackouts again and um why i'm sharing this is that sometimes you know especially when you have a child with on the autism spectrum you're always so worried you're spending so much time you're doing a lot just to see you know um or, you know you put like you entirely put your entire life on hold for that child and in that process you miss out on so many things and uh, so many beautiful memories so many things that you know you will have done for yourself to for your own happiness you miss out on taking care of yourself and it's it's not supposed to be so and this year we, we we really had a good time you know like i was saying we had a good time we went to see the fireworks we came back my son was all with us with the party because uh, uh some of the reasons why we didn't go out back then was because we couldn't take him out we couldn't control him sometimes even if we got invited we would be like you no know, when if we go there uh, he's not going to he could run off we there were so many things you know uh dangers and we were so trying to protect him and um we just tried to you know just to to limit whatever we were doing within ourselves most times my regular new year is like you know we're at home uh, my entire family were home i get to receive calls from my family members back home from nigeria and i spend the whole new year talking to family families and friends you know calling sending messages and stuff but this year i <clears throat> apart from having fun i really had a kind of um, um uh, uh not plan per se but i had you know i had more um more goals not just goals that I just set by just saying them. I have goals that I see them coming to life and I'm looking forward to working on those goals. Um, I also have goals with my kids, like my daughter and I, we talked about some of her goals also. I've never been that much of a person to do all those kind of, you know, resolutions, plans. Yes, sometimes I do some of those things in my mind, but this time I'm like, you know, writing out things I need to do, putting down notes, sticking notes on my computer, schedules and everything. I feel like I am a better person. I am more organized and I'm just really excited to see what this year uh, has in store for me and i wanted to share this um this reflection hoping that someone um can resonate with uh, what i have to share um the things that i did last year one of the things that i did last year and i am still doing this year is you know to be intentional about um uh, taking care of myself uh to live for myself and to do things that will not stress me out um whatever i'm doing uh, or i decide i want to do uh to put myself first then the kids um <laughs> and their father all together in one i uh, i hope this message speaks to you i uh, would love to hear what you if you have a reflection about the past year or about this new year or what you think um what you might want or expect from this coming year I would like to hear from you. You can leave a comment, a like, you can share this video. Thank you. And so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more um, inspiring and educative um, posts. Thank you. Bye.